So we're here today to do a short video on uh, squeeze lockbox parts replacement. So the first thing you have to do is you have to come over to where your squeeze handle is and follow it up to there's a heavy duty profile here and there's two half by two inch bolts with a jam nut. They have to be fully backed off like that because you need to have lots of play in there because underneath this fan angle there's a bolt that has to come out. So we've got this completely backed off. Now we come over here, we got a half by four and a half inch bolt and a half by two and a half inch bolt. So remove this bolt here, send it to make things easy. So I've removed that bolt. Now just press your release pin and push this shaft back like that. And now you're able to take this uh, fan dangle, the end of the fan dangle, and it will slide past your pin, exposing this four and a half inch bolt. So just take your nut off, like that. And your lock box is removed. Now we're going to install it back in the on the chute here and there's a couple of really important things to do as well and we'll, we'll go over it as we proceed. Got Stuart's there, he's got the lock box, he can take the lock box and the first thing you should do is you got a half by four and a half inch bolt, Stuart will hold the lock box up there, install that bolt, that, that should be the first thing you do. Got our half by four and a half inch bolt installed. The nut's on, it doesn't have to be tightened up. So then Stuart's gonna push the release pin there. We're gonna pull the shaft back like that, just about up to that hole. I'm standing on the sternum bar. If you don't have that, use a step ladder. And then you, you twist this back like this so that your fan dangle can come back into position. And then push your release pin to bring your shaft back and line up with that hole right there. And that's a half by two and a half inch bolt.
So you know your lockbox is installed. Just tighten up the nut on this and tighten up the nut on your four and a half inch bolt, but don't over tighten your four and a half inch bolt because if you make it too tight, you're just uh, increasing the friction when you move the squeeze back in and out. So just be mindful of that. So now we'll, there's one uh, very, very important step now. We've got our fan dangle, the adjustment bolts in our fan dangle completely backed off. So if you leave it like this, your squeeze won't work at all. So we're gonna go over, uh, we're gonna adjust it and we're gonna tell you how to adjust it and what to look for. Okay, so the final step and a very, very important step. This is not difficult, but we'll try to go through with you in detail so that you understand it. So right now my bolts, my adjuster bolts, on that heavy three quarter inch profile are completely backed off, okay? So I can actually make my squeeze work. However, this is, if I, if I left it like this, it's gonna give you some real issues for a couple of reasons. So when I go to squeeze my squeeze in, this profile here and this adjuster bolt is meant to take the forces. But as of right now, this, this fan dangle is pushing hard against the lockbox shaft and you can actually see it flexing like that. Now, and if I go to release it, instead of this, the profile on this side taking all the strain, this fan dangle is actually, all the strain is on that profile. And what can happen is because all the strain is on there, that profile can flex enough and it can actually pop over that pin. So what we'll do now is we'll just start adjusting it. And I'll do a couple scenarios. I'll adjust it uh, wrong to show you what can happen. So I've adjusted, I've wound this bolt in too, too much. This side is the side that adjusts your release, but I've adjusted it too much so that I can't push on my pin. So all you do is make sure your jam nut is loose and you can have one hand on the squeeze handle, one hand on the bolt, and you can just watch that thing come in. Now all you have to do is pop that pin and you, I recommend about a quarter inch, 3 16 but that's absolute max. That's all you need and that'll, that'll release your pin. Now come in the other way, squeeze it in, go to the other half inch bolt and wind it in and you can see that margin decreasing like that. You want to decrease that margin until somewhere in about quarter inch to three eighths. Now when I open it, it's not touching the shaft and this profile is taking all the force, which is what's meant. So now my squeeze is working perfectly and that's all there is to adjusting that that fan dangle on the lock box. Well, thanks for joining us today. We hope that this video proves to be helpful to you. However, if you still have uh, questions or if you have problems in the field that you can't figure out, please be free to call our client care team. They're always uh, willing to take your call and help you. Thank you very much.